So I took this thing out. It was way out of tune. The hardest thing to do as a beginner is to know how to tune. And this thing actually came with a CD, which a lot of people don't have CD players anymore. So you're kind of screwed when it comes to tuning this thing if you don't have a friend or if you don't have a friend who plays guitar or if you don't have someone at the store tune it for you. And even if they do, these things go out of tune so fast usually that um, it, by the time you get home, it's already out of tune. So what I did was I just used my snark tuner, got it in tune, and uh, we're gonna see if it stays in tune. The problem is, is this guitar body is so small that if you're a teenager or older, um, it's not gonna feel right to put it where you're supposed to, which is here or here for some people. You're gonna wanna almost hold it like a ukulele. And already that's kind of strange, you know, feeling it like this. I mean, this guitar size-wise would be okay if you're like four years old, but uh, most people don't start at age four, they're a lot older. So right off the bat, having a tiny guitar is gonna give you the wrong impression of how to hold it. That's one of the problems. Uh, first problem is getting it in tune in the first place. Uh, second problem is, is how it feels when you hold it when you're sitting down. Okay, so I'm using a pick. You probably won't have a pick when you start, so you might use your fingers. I'm gonna use a pick. And the book that came with it teaches you how to play chords right off the bat. So you have to learn how to read chord charts, and you have there's a lot of text in there. So I don't think a lot of people are going to sit there and read through the whole book, especially these days. But uh, they'll probably get to the chord charts and try to copy it. So here's what I got out of it so far. They're teaching you open chords like a lot of uh, beginning methods do. The problem is, is, even if I just tuned, by the way, even if I play the chords exactly the way they show, listen to this. <laughs> See, it's out of tune, even though I just tuned. It's just the nature of a cheap guitar neck. You know, the frets are really flat feeling, and uh, the strings are so small, because the neck is so small, such a short scale, that if you apply any wrong pressure, it's just going to put it way out of whack. It's the best I can get it to sound. G. C. Usually the first three chords you learn. Okay, so let's say you get those down, and you want to play some of the songs in the book. Here are some examples of what they have you do. So you might be really proud of yourself, hey I learned two chords, but they still sound like crap. It's because the guitar is cheap and no matter what, it's going to sound that way. So I'm a pro, I've been playing all my life and I can't make this thing sound any better than that. So don't get too discouraged if that's the case with these guitars. The one good thing about that I've figured out about this guitar is if you play single notes, it's actually not too bad. So if you're doing what we always do on the website, the spider warm up. See, it's not so bad actually. Even on the higher frets, I was surprised. Okay, so I was just gonna play some songs just to see some riffs and see how this thing responds to it, okay? So here's kind of what I call the smoke on the water of acoustic guitar playing. Over the hills and far away. Hear that? The G was terrible. do if I were you if you end up getting a really cheap guitar for Christmas to start off on is don't be discouraged if you hear some of those similar problems happen um, learn it as well as you can go through the whole book prove to your parents or whoever's making the decisions uh, that you put a lot of time into this little thing and then maybe in a short time you could level up to the next thing which would be throwing a couple hundred bucks at maybe a starter acoustic or electric kit um, pack I should say not a kit and what you end up with is some decent stuff these days. I'm really surprised if you check it out. My best advice would be when you get the guitar, have the person at the store tune it for you, and then uh, maybe have them play it a little bit and keep tuning it maybe for like five minutes. Uh, that might be asking a lot of a, of a salesperson if it's in the middle of like a Christmas rush or something like that, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind tuning it at least once or twice for you so you can get close. All right, so let me know in the comments if you end up getting a cheap guitar, if this video helped you out. Uh, or if it was just entertaining. All right, guys, we'll catch you soon. Merry Christmas. Bye.